What is happening, everybody? This is Cody, aka DFS Project, coming to you live, breaking out this up on DraftKings. Short on slate. Uh, it's game seven, Philly at Boston. Oh, again, hit like button for me. Definitely subscribe. Like I said, this is game seven to four tomorrow. I'm getting it out early because I work tonight. So I figured I'm not going to do this video in the morning when I get off work around 6 a.m., 7 a.m. So, but let's kick it off. I mean, we have game seven. This is it. This is the series. So, Joel Embiid. I don't know what to do with Joel Embiid as the captain is my main issue is we need that value. And 11-4, I mean, 53 and 47 aren't really going to get that done. We need that 60-point bomb game. Um, I just have trouble fitting him in at the captain slot when I can go elsewhere. Um, I think this is going to be more of a balanced build, in my opinion. But obviously, he's a great option. It's Joel Embiid, game seven. James Harden, though. Are we going to get that takeover game like we saw? Uh, if he's hovering around 40, I'm not going to get to him at 10 2. How much are they going to Jalen Brown? Uh, to be honest with you, Tyrese Max is 8 6. I mean, he's he's so fast. He is so fast on that court. <clears throat> but I like Tyrese Maxey at 8 6. I mean, he's been the focal point of this offense almost as it's what it seemed like. Tobias Harris 7 2. Kind of expensive, in my opinion. I'm much rather go to Tyrese Maxey. D'Anthony Melton. Meh, I mean, 0 for 5 last game, not really getting to him. P.G. Tucker looked good last game. I mean, they let him take his shot. He shot eight, eight times. I mean, they let him take those three-pointers. So if we're going to get that again and they're going to leave him wide open, I'm going to go to him as a value at 19 fantasy points. Uh, Daniel House, not really getting to a 2-8. We saw him at that three-pointer, did the bow and arrow. Uh, not really getting anybody else on this team. So... Like I like I said, I like Tyrese Max at eight six. I like getting to some PJ Tucker, and then obviously Joel Embiid is in the play. Um, on the Boston side, what are we doing with Jason Tatum? That's the biggest question mark. Is what are we doing with him overall? Do you fade him and hope for the best? Because I don't want to. I don't want to fade him. But if he's gonna go five for twenty one again and look terrible shooting that ball, that's what worries me. I mean, he looked good in the assist to rebound <laughs> categories. But at captain, it's kind of hard to go to. At 9-2, I do like Jalen Brown. I think this is a big step of game for him. I think this is a bounce-back spot. I think I think he's going to need to take over. Um, so I do like him. Marcus Smart, I mean, that hustle. He's, he's hustling out there. He had a big game in, in light of Jason Tatum. And then Al Horford, 7,000. Not really getting to him with Robert Williams starting, which I do still like Robert Williams at 6,000. They needed him on the court. It was obvious they needed him. I uh, like his upside a ton. That DraftKings already priced it, adjusted him. I, I figured that was going to happen. Malcolm Brogdon, uh, him and Derek White are kind of interchangeable. So let's talk about it from a captain's perspective, though. Is at captain, do you go with Joel Embiid at 17 That leaves you, what, a 6-5? Do you go with Jason Tatum? Or do you go with the cheaper option in a Tyrese Max or, Tyrese Max or Dylan Brown? Let's look at it from a Tyrese Max, Tyrese Max perspective. So say we get Robert Williams. Say we do go to PG Tucker as a value, but we're going to need a value play. It leaves you nine one left over. And then if you want, possibly like I said, a Tobias Harris seven two. It leaves you ten five. You, you still have to try to play around with this because that leaves you four nine left over for Daniel House for Grant Williams. I mean, and this is a, going to be an interesting build on in how you build forward. But there's options there. So. That's a quick breakdown of this slate, guys, though. Thank you for tuning in. It was a great save for us tonight. Everybody, have a good one.